Hello, hello, and welcome to The Millie Life. My name is Danielle. I'm the owner of The Millie Life and The Millie Life YouTube channel. I am so, so excited that you guys are here today. If you're new to the channel, I post new motorcycle videos every Thursday and new exercise videos every Friday. Make sure to click that subscribe button so you do not miss out. If you'd like more of The Millie Life, you can follow us on all the social medias at The Millie Life, all one word. Would love to have you there. Today, we've got a special treat for you guys. We've got Matt's Harley Davidson Lowrider S. He's putting on a new moon's taillight. So let's check it out. I'm so excited to share with you guys that we have the Millie Life Apparel. It's at the link below. This is one of my t-shirts. We've got a couple others up there. I get yours while you can. We've got stickers, sweatshirts, t-shirts. And if you watch all the way to the end of this video, we've got a nice giveaway for you. So make sure you stay tuned. So this is Matt's 2020 Harley Davidson Lowrider S. We're going to be putting on a new Moons V3 integrated tail light today. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the two screws. Uh, Matt already has a Moon's tail light in here. He's replacing it. Um, and so this isn't a stock 2020 Lowrider S tail light, but that would come out the same, right? That's got two screws on it. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Yep, so we're taking those out with two screws. Old lights coming off. Disconnecting the brake. Disconnecting the brake with the white piece there. Another. And our right and left turn signals. And I'm going to use a small Phillips screwdriver or just a pointed screwdriver to push the clip down and remove. Now, why did you go with the moons? Um, I wanted to remove my right and left turn signals. I didn't like they were on the sides up here on the struts. Okay. Um, I liked the clean, integrated look. Mm -hmm. and I thought it was pretty simple. So when you do get the Moon's integrated taillight, it's gonna come with a harness mm -hmm. that you'll have to secure with 3M tape underneath the fender, mm -hmm. but that'll be easy. Then you'll just be able to plug and play your three connections. Okay. So super simple. This is my second Moon's taillight. The first one was faulty. Um, customer service was amazing. They shipped me a second one for free. Okay. So I really recommend the company for $100. It was a good purchase. Yeah, 100 bucks. This is his second light. They've replaced the one that, that both of them have been faulty. Yep. Yeah, there's been two, and I, I think moisture has been getting to the taillight. So I tried to take some plastic right now and just secure these holes that are opening from underneath the fender. I'm not quite sure why there's an opening, but I'm gonna see if I can keep moisture more out of there this time. Yeah. Let's see if that helps. Yeah. So now I'm just gonna take my same three clips. I'm gonna go taillight in one and then i don't remember which is which i believe brown is left green is right but now i think what we do is flip the bike on okay cool. right let's make sure i see lights already so that's good so we got light good now we're going to check our signals and we have them in the wrong yeah. holes that's perfect <laughs> so wait how did you know it was in the wrong hole um well by clicking the right signal the left turn signal went ah, So now we know that we've made a mistake. Okay, so brown is what then? Brown is gonna be our right. Okay, green. brown is right, green is, our left. is left. Okay. So let's swap cool. these. Yeah, have any of you guys tried the moon's taillights and had issues with water seep seeping in? And if so, what solutions did you find? We're gonna try the duct tape and see if that works. All right, so now let's double check. All right, I got you. Right, let's go right. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Good. Let's check our front brake. Cool. Good. Rear. Good. Yeah. Okay. Now here's my favorite feature: that? is that there's a small button on the back side, mm -hmm. and it's our strobe feature. Okay. So you push and hold that button. Okay. And so then I'm hoping now. Five second hold. Oh. Now we have a strobe. Oh. As we pull the brake light. So just a little so, bit more attention when you go to stop. Yep, absolutely. It's got integrated uh, license plate light. Oh, so cool. that's kind of nice as well. So everything's integrated. Blinkers, license plate light, and brake light. Yep. So I'm going to tuck all of our wiring up in this little hole here. Okay. Try it. 
and get that seated in the best we can. And what I found as well is you don't want to over tighten these screws. I believe I may have over tightened and cracked this oh, housing right here. Okay. And I'm yep. thinking maybe moisture. So maybe it was operator error. So. Too. But again, Moon says fantastic customer service. You emailed them. Absolutely. The owner, Tommy Moon, actually responded to my email and yeah. sent me a replacement. So Yeah, both times. Yep, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, really quick. And he troubleshot a little bit with you too. He did. He yeah. did. He had me send pictures and went through some ideas and things that might uh, might be going on. With yeah. it, so it's a really cool company, really sleek looking taillights. And they're bright. Are they LED? They are LED, yeah. yep. And the stock Harley Davidson lights LED as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's just I I don't like how far it sticks out. This is a low pro, so it's gonna sit a little bit tighter the bike. Yeah, what would you say like two inches out? Oh yeah, I'd say Maybe. yep. And what was the stock? Probably more like four or five. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, okay so just I'm gonna get them it. snug and then give them one extra turn. <laughs> I didn't put any Loctite on them. No. Um, I, I don't think, I'm not sure if that's protocol, but um, yeah, this time I'm just gonna check them every couple of weeks and see, make sure everything's tight, but let me double check one more time, everything's working. Okay, what do we got? Got a right signal. Okay. Got a left, brakes, all right. Nice. Nice. Sick. Cool. Everything's working. Love it, cool. That was easy. All so right. that took less than five minutes. Um, only thing you're going to need is a screwdriver. Yep, Phillips screwdriver. Let's go. There you go. And I use a small Phillips to poke the pins. Small Phillips to get those, poke those pins. All right, here we go. Old taillight out. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you have Moon's taillights? Do you have the custom or stock? Uh, have you ever experienced one going out and due to water getting in and what was your solution? I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, so that's gonna be it for today. I'm Danielle, this is The Millie Life, and thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.